is Josh Neblett. I'm CEO of Green Cupboards, and we're an online retailer dedicated to green household products. So we go out and try to find the best-in-class products that are out there for products that are actually green and actually do work. And we also really focus on efficiency. We want to not only be a great retailer at sourcing product, but also be one of the most efficient retailer at um, you know everything from drop ship to holding inventory. And we build a lot of process in-house to make those efficiencies come to life. So hurdles, I mean, every day we face new challenges, and I think for any entrepreneur, you have to have a few loose screws in the head to just enjoy all those challenges that are presented every day, and um, I think I have a few of those loose screws, so I really do enjoy all the challenges and new hurdles that we have to overcome. For us, one of the biggest things for me personally has just been the evolution of the company, you know, going from zero employees to five to 14 to 55, uh, you know, there's a lot of changes that I have to make along the way from you know everything from me starting doing customer service and merchandising and purchasing to now really being more focused on delegation and um, I always say that CEOs are really um, you know an architect of the future and a moderator of the mood and um, that's a transition that you have to make from in the early days just trying to be that jack of all trades so that's been one big hurdle for me personally um, there's always challenges in e-commerce and in retail anytime you're going out and trying to um, compete against other other companies, whether they're venture backed or angel backed or mom and pop shop, there's just so many different retailers that are out there, um, and you really got to keep an eye on the good ones and see what they're doing and uh, try to learn from them and better your company from that learning. For me, one of the biggest things that we're working on right now, I think, is standardizing dropship. I think there's a real opportunity to uh, expand our dropship model, shipping product directly from the manufacturer to the end consumer. And a lot of manufacturers just need to know how to do it. They're not familiar with the process. They're not familiar with the terminology. And so we have a whole team dedicated to standardizing that process, both through code and um, interfaces, as well as just understanding and having the relationship with the supplier to communicate with them, hey, here's what this means, here's how we work, and try to standardize, again, the whole process of dropship, because there are just way too many different options that are out there, um, and until you can standardize that, it's tough to scale. Um, I think any starting as a kind of young entrepreneur, anytime that you have a, a mentor or a team of advisors behind you, it can just make the world of difference. Having people that have the scars on their back but also have the success stories is something that can really um, help make your company succeed because as a young entrepreneur, you come in bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and rearing and just ready to go, 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 and it's good to have people in your back pocket to say, hey, wait, we've gone through this process. Think about doing it this way um, and so I think you know you can't overlook the value in having someone who's been there and done that within your industry um, and that's something that uh, I would encourage any entrepreneur who's starting out to try to find. Um, every day I'm inspired I mean you just did a tour of this whole place and we're continuing to grow and evolve and uh, you know I get inspired just watching our people come in early or leave late and just just be so dedicated to what they're doing to make it great and make whatever they're doing better. And, um, you know, that's really all the inspiration I need is just seeing all the people around us uh, really just being inspired by the concept and the business and looking forward to come to work today. I put a big emphasis on culture around here and building a winning kind of dynamic formula um, for a culture. And I think it, it's, it shines through at Green Cupboards and it's something that I've always aspired to have, and um, I think it is something that we do have. So, um, you know, for it's kind of corny, but you know, my mom is one person that really inspires me. Her her work ethic is uh, unparalleled. I mean, she just works crazy hours, does not stop, and just has a driving passion for what she does. And she's in the world of education. Uh, which is not something I could ever be involved in, um, you know, and really be dedicated to. But just seeing her go to work happy every day and, and just having that passion and, uh, you know, that drive to just be the best at what she does is something that's always inspired me.